We are preparing to plant the potatoes. We have almost four kilograms, about three kilograms and a half, something like that. So we need to prepare the ground here. We decided we'll plant in between these two sticks, more or less, kind of all the way down there. So. Yeah, I need to clear the area from grass, from this, from this grass, and then dig it a bit, and we'll go from there. I've cleaned the area of weeds a little bit. You can see compared to here. <laughs> a lot of glass collected some there, some by the plum tree. And now I'm preparing to do the rows. Well I thought I need to dig it a bit to loosen the soil even more further. But yeah, we'll make here a couple of rows and we'll put those potatoes in. Beautiful day, so that's great. Great time to do this. And I am out of potatoes. I've put them all in. I had what, two more rows to fill in, but these are all the potatoes I've got. Now I just have to cover them. So, yeah. so I've got a little pathway to walk through. A lot of rubbish collected there and at the end of the road there. I'm thinking to plant this lavender here, but I'm not sure yet. I'll see if I'll put it here or at the front somewhere. Looking good, I think. I'm liking how this is coming. How it's looking.
just finished covering the rose. I have to decide where I'm going to plant the lavender. I might put it there just to add a little bit of blue in this area or purplish color. But yeah, this is it. Now we have to wait and see. Hello, just did a little bit of cleaning around here because yesterday after I planted the potatoes there was a lot of rubbish such as glass, um, rusty pipes or whatever this kind of this stuff is. So yes, I cleaned this area a bit, kind of made the pathways a bit more clear, a bit more obvious. So we have five rows of potatoes here, the last two ones are empty at the moment because I made seven in total on this side so we'll probably fill them in at some point, maybe next weekend we'll buy some more potatoes and then we have eight rows there, we have the asparagus, ten here, five red and then uh, five green, the dahlias there. So yeah, as you can see, no more rubbish. Well, as best as I could for now. There was a lot of rubbish here yesterday. And now it's all nice and clean. Lavender, some snowdrops. I moved them from over there. I moved them here, so now the pathway is more clear. And this is the area where I planted some potatoes in the autumn. And I scraped away that, and I found some coming up. So there's one here, there's one here. like three of them but they should be all the way up to that rock I think so we'll see if these ones make any any potatoes we have the elephant garlic over here three of them two here there's more there one of the Brussels sprouts was broken by the wind and there's just one left blueberries I'm not sure if these bushes are gonna survive because they look pretty dry the other day I cleaned I cleaned the black current or the current because I'm not sure if it's black or red or whatever I suspect it's black because it's quite often found um, it was quite dry so yeah I was able to take a cutting which shows some green now a couple of days later but the main one is probably gonna it's probably i'm probably gonna remove it and plant something else instead and the same with this one i'm still waiting because they are showing a little bit of life but i mean i don't know they're pretty dry but anyway we have the honeyberries and but yeah coming back to this area i really like how this is uh, looking and I put I put this here just so I know I have the potatoes there because I scraped all the way there so I don't want to accidentally step I mean I won't step because I know but my partner if he comes in the garden and he needs to know <laughs> what I've planted where and since there's no like name tags for them hopefully he'll he won't step on, on those and we'll have some potatoes there as well Make a little pathway here so we can go this way and that way to the front garden. Here I planted the dahlia, 
we have the plum tree here some garlic and onions planted there and some strawberries and uh, horseradish so yeah really excited I'm really liking how this is looking I need to bring a chair in the garden at some point so far I've been sitting down on stones larger stones such as this one but yeah it would be nice to have a, a chair a small chair to put here and just look around uh, during breaks when I'm after I'm clearing more of the area so yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, <laughs> this update. It's quite cloudy at the moment. Hopefully it will rain today because I didn't plant, uh, didn't water the potatoes. I can't remember if I watered the asparagus. I didn't water it, but I think it rained shortly after. I'm not sure, I can't remember. But yeah, hopefully it will rain soon. Uh, I like how this looks now. There was so much rubbish here. So much rubbish. I still left this because it's a long one. I'm not sure where to put it and it's not inconveniencing me at the moment in the garden. It's okay. But yeah, this one I, I unearthed it from here when I planted the lavender. It came out all the way from underneath there. So... Yeah, it's just... But yeah okay thank you for watching I look forward to the next video to share it with you take care Just getting ready to harvest the potatoes. We have some there and some there by the calendulas. In this area they didn't come up. It was too too shady. Too shady. Too too much shade. So I'm gonna remove them from there and there and we'll see how much we got. The pear tree looking beautiful with the borage and the nasturtiums. Okay, I'm gonna get started.
nice size potato. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna carry on doing this because I can do it faster with two hands without filming. So Potato harvest almost done, not quite though. No. I have that bit left there. I harvested about, well, more than half from this side, finished there. So now I have that bit left. Now I've been harvesting really large potatoes from here. Small ones as well, but really large ones. And this is the harvest so far. This big bucket, I think. It's the stuff harvested from there, the potatoes from there. It will be more than a bucket or maybe like a full full bucket at top. Potato harvest done. Oh, we have a few of the red ones as well, but mostly are white. I'm gonna take these inside, lay them on the surface, and let them dry for a little bit. So now. looking potatoes big some small awesome. this is the potato harvest just layered this here just gonna you can see these massive potatoes just gonna put them here to dry the soil a bit size ones this one got a little bit uh, burned in a way by the sun I'll make sure to clean this This is how 26 kilograms of potatoes look like.